Alright. All praise, honor, and glory be to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Waha Kodash Waka. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the faithful elect of Yahshua Allah. You men out teaching this truth and sincerity. Alright. Getting straight to it. And uh, also, I say, um, so to you, peace and blessings, Shalom wa Barakim. All right. It's only for the elect, and to you of the elect that's awakening right now, right? One hundred forty-four thousand being men, and rest being uh, rest of the one and the one third being um, women, children, women and children. You know, all of the nation of Israel, right? The seed of Israel. To you, I say peace and blessings as well. Your brother Shariat and Osa Shema, getting straight to it. The New Testament Gentiles are Israelites, man. The just the Gentiles are Israelites. Um, the accepted Gentiles are Israelites. The preach the preach to Gentiles are Israelites. The converted, which we're gonna get, we're gonna start with um, Gentiles are Israelites. All in the New Testament, man. This Bible don't have nothing to do with anybody else but the Israelites, and we're gonna prove it. All right. This is Acts 15 and 3. It say, And being brought, um, and being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenix and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles, and they caused great joy unto all the brethren. Now, we can go ahead and go straight into um that word conversion right there. All right, which will just put a lot of, it will save a lot of time. So, when you go into that word conversion, it says, Epistrophe. Strong's G, 1995, Epistrophe. 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 All right. Conversion of the Gentiles from idolatry, idolatry to the true God, the true creator, the true power. All right. Now, when you scroll down, it says reversion. So, when you're going to read, it's to do again, man. Something that was already done. So, what was something already done? When you go to the book of Exodus, we was taken from the house, the, the Israelites was taken from the house of bondage. Right? They was brought from the house of bondage when they were once uh, forced to basically deal with idolatry instead of the true power. And from that point on, they dealt with the true power. But then, you know, we went away. And Yahweh came, who people call Jesus. He came to be that light. Pretty much. To bring us, to bring back what already was. And that's the Israelites only worshiping the true God. Because he's only their true God. He's truly only only their God, their power, whose name is Yahweh. Now, let's go back. And we can even take this from the, the other side. But you know what we're going to do? Now, we look up that word reversion. Look what, look, look, let's look at what it means. A return to a previous state. Practice or belief. The right, especially of the original owner or their heirs, to possess or succeed to property on the death of the present possessor or at the end of a lease. See? Because we was pretty much, that's pretty much going into the whole purpose of your house shop, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything that who people call Jesus, everything his death was for. It says the right, especially of the original owner, who will be those Gentiles. 
or their heirs, who will be those Gentiles who are actually Israelites, bloodline Israelites, man, to possess or succeed to property on the death of the present possessor or at the end of a lease. But we just simply keep it with the first one. A return. Reversion means a return to a previous state, practice, or belief. So these Gentiles were once worshiping the true God. They were once worshiping the true God. It says, Acts 15 and 3. And being brought on their way by the church. Right? And you go into that word church. The Greek word for is ecclesia. Which is a, a assembly of Israelites. You know? But we're going to prove it. We're going to prove all things. It's say Ecclesia. Right? Strong's G, 1577. Ecclesia. Ecclesia. The assembly of the Israelites, man. Right? Because you're going to all these other ones. All these things are the Israelites. The assembly of the people. Who are the people? The Israelites. The gathering of the citizens called up out of their homes into some pu public place and assembly. Israelites, man. Right? The congregation is of the Israelites, man. But anyway, you see? The whole body of so-called Christians scattered throughout the earth. Who was scattered? Let's just get a side note real quick. Let's get a side note real quick. Let's get James 1. Just to further prove that's only talking about Israelites. And we're only on one verse. James 1 and 1. A James, a servant of God and of the Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach. Right? So he's a servant of the Heavenly Father and of the Son, whose name is Yahweh Shah. Right? So James, a servant of God and of the Lord, uh, Yahweh Shahamashiach. To the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting, my brethren, because he is an Israelite. Right? Now, where did that where did that come from? Why is that the case? Because the Lord promised that he was gonna scatter all Israel, you know, to the four corners of the earth, man. You know? It tells us this in Deuteronomy in the fourth chapter. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. Whither the Lord shall lead you. See? And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. See? But if thou... Then from thence thou, but if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, Yahweh thy power, thou shalt find him if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So that was all these things was always promised to us. So when we actually went ahead, you know how many times Israelites we went into captivity, and people ended up in places that we never were due to uh, subjug subjugation we were put under. And etc. You know, that can cause a mess. And that's how the father wanted it because ultimately it was going to be for the purpose of his son coming, Yahweh Shah, who was an Israelite as well, right? And it was just basically going to prove everything he already had said, you know, at that point, probably thousands of years ago, you know, to eventually be true. And they was, we were supposed to read these things during these times all the way up until the times of Yahweh Shah when he walked, so-called so Jesus. And understand, okay, we're going to be scattered. And even before he came, we, we, we were scattered. This is why this was removed out the middle of the Bible. This is supposed to be between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. You see that? And then you jump. To the fourth chapter, who is it talking to as well? The whole book is only to the Israelites. This whole book of Deuteronomy is, is only to the Israelites. But the whole Bible in its entirety, you know? 
and messages to you lying heathens out there who who's acting like you you you're about to have a a a, a, a gate for you in the kingdom of heaven, man. That's just not true. But I want to just get these scriptures. Deuteronomy four and one. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and uh, unto the judgments, see, which I teach you for to do them that ye may live and go and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. See, ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it. So you can't take away this 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 being said, man. The Lord said, when we jump down, what did he say? He says <clears throat> in the 27th verse, right? And the Lord shall scatter you among the among the nations. See? And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you, and there you shall serve gods, and so forth. Now, when we go back to Acts, we go back to James 1. And one, this is how you have this written. James, a servant of God and of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes, which are scattered abroad, greedy. Because they went on, we went on to do everything he told us not to do so that can come forth. But it's all a part of his program. Now, when you go back to Acts, the 15th chapter, and the third verse, what does it say? Right? And you can start at the first verse, you know. Paul and, and Barnabas, they were arguing with other Israelites, you know, Jews, who was still on their high horse trying to act like it was about a the law. They, they weren't even keeping themselves, right? Ultimately, so the promises couldn't come, come to pass, man, which is getting ready to happen. Acts 15 and 3. And being brought on their way by the church, we just went into Israelites, uh, assembly of Israelites. They passed through Phoenix and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles. The reversion of the Gentiles. The apostrophe of the Gentiles, man. Right? The apostrophe. Epistrophe. Right? Strong's G, 1995. Epistrophe. Apistrophe. From idolatry is turning from idolatry to the true God. But when you jump down, it says reversion. So it's something that was already done. You see that? And what it is tell us in Deuteronomy 4th chapter. When after he scattered us, what we're we gonna be doing? Idolatry, man. Worshiping wood and stones, the work uh, uh works of men's hand men's hand. Who is that said to? The Israelites. So this is only about the Israelites. We could end the video right in the lesson right here, cause it's it's, it's once this this is all proven, man. Paul wasn't sent out to preach to heathens, man. Right, natural heathens, man. All right, and they cause great joy unto all the brethren. See that? Who are Israelites? Why? Because those were Israelites who had understanding. Okay, the rest of our brothers can come in. Next verse. This is Romans. We're just going to get a bunch of scriptures where it might be a case of one may uh, possibly thinking, well, no, this sounds just talking about all Israelite. Nope, because we just broke that down completely. Once again, what does reversion mean? A return. See that? To a previous state, practice, or belief. See? The right. It was their God given right. To receive what Yahweh you can possess and believe in this, in, in Yahweh Shah. Being an Israelite, it's your right, man. You don't have that right if you was never uh, the given this covenant, man. This is something. This is this is family business, man. All right. The Lord only knows Israel. Amos three and one. The Lord changes not, man. Malachi three and six. Right? It say the right, especially the original of the original owner, man. See? Or their heirs. Right? We're, we're joint heirs with Jehoshua, as the scriptures say. Only the Israelites. Romans 15 and 1. We're going to start at. 
you know what? We're going to start at verse 8. It says, Now I say that Yahweh was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of the of the circumcision for the truth of the heavenly father of the most high right of Yahweh to confirm the promises made unto the fathers so once again how could you receive that promise if these fathers weren't your fathers man the promises being Abraham but through Isaac but through Jacob, no Ishmael, no Muslims, no none of that, no Esau, no Edomites, no so-called white people, no none of that. Jews, German, Irish, Swiss, Polish, nothing. Israelite blood, man. And definitely no one else besides those people. Because if you want to be technical, he, he came for all, right? Well, let's get this scripture real quick. Nehemiah 13 and 1. And it says, On that day, they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the people. And therein was found written that the Ammonite and the Moabite should not come into the congregation of God forever. Because they met not the children of Israel with bread. You see that? You see? So this is not a, this is not for everybody, man. This Bible has nothing to do with any this salvation that's getting ready to come when Yahweh shall come back. It's not for everybody, man. You've been lied to. You've been duped, man. Now, and the Gentile and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy as is written, for this cause I will call I will for this cause I will confess thee to the among to thee. I will confess to thee among the Gentiles. See that? Among. You go back to. Because this was the. This was the. Uh, where this. Happened in the future was. Come, being brought forth in the future was conceived at man. The Lord promised this to happen to the Israelites man. See? All of that man. See? This is about the Israelites becoming destroyed due to them not taking heed, man. This is only talking to Israel. Now therefore hearken, O Israel. Or else. And the Lord. I call I'll get twenty six. I'll call I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And we're gonna go on and do what they did, what they do. Right? Because we're basically like one of them now. You know, the Lord don't even know you no more. You ser you serving things that uh, 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 to no avail, man. See? So what did he say? R Romans 9, 15 and 9. And that the Gentiles might glorify for his mercy, as it is written, for this cause, I will cause the cause to the Salakia. For this cause, I will confess to thee among the Gentiles. See? And sing unto my name. Again, he saith, Rejoice, ye Gentiles, with his people. Now, let's keep going, though. And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and law him, all ye people. And again, Isaiah's. So you can't have the New Testament without the Old Testament, right? There shall be a root of Jesse, and he shall rise to reign over the Gentiles. And in like in him shall the Gentiles trust, cause that was the purpose of Yahweh Shah coming, right? The only way that they can get back in is through Yahweh Shah, man. Believing in him, right? Worthiness, you know. If you could respect his death, man, his purpose, his calling, the Lord will bring you back in, man, right? All the great things he do, he did for his nation, man, his people. Those scattered and those who 
thought they had knew what was going on, you know, being the Jews still living in Jerusalem, who thought they had the upper hand. But they didn't have any other standard of what was going on. They were hypocrites. Now, the God of hope filled you with all joy, see, and peace in believing, see, that ye may abound in, the, in, the, in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit, man. Because there's no ghost, the Holy Spirit, man. Now, he just can't get the Holy Spirit, man. Let's keep going. Because you think this talking about regular Gentiles, and it's not. By the time Isaiah was written, Deuteronomy, uh, the curse in Deuteronomy was always already promised. The scattering it was already promised, man. And Israel was already working on it. Basically had already earned it at that point when Isaiah got the pro started prophesying. Now, it says, And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren. His who? See that? You got to keep breathing. My brethren. Let's just go ahead and end it now. Romans 9. And... You know, Romans 9. And we're going to get the third verse. I said Romans 9. I clicked Romans 3. Romans 9 and the third verse, it says, for, for I could wish that myself were a curse for, for, from, from Hamashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises, whose are the fathers, those same things belongs to the fathers, as we was just reading about, and ask, uh, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, because he came through those fathers, that same lineage, who is over all, uh, most high blessed forever, amen, right, see that, but this, this, is, this is about the elect, so let's go back, man, we can get another one to prove who the brethren are, according to to um, the New Testament, Acts 7 and 23, and it reads, what? It says, when he was 40 years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Israel. See that? Moses' brethren was only is only the children of Israel because he's an Israelite. He's of the he's of he's of Israel. It's other children of Israel, meaning other Israelites, because he's an Israelite. His flesh and his bones, man. All right. Now, let's just keep going, man. Romans fifteen. So. And 14, and I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish one another. Nevertheless, brethren, I have written the more boldly unto you in some sort as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of, the, of God, right? You know, because we can prove all day, all day long who the brethren are, man. You know, there's plenty of scriptures the Lord has bestowed upon us, man. You know. Let's get Psalms. Psalms. Because you thought this was talking about Gentiles, man. We just going through to show that the, the Gentiles are, the New Testament, the accepted Gentiles in the New Testament are Israelites, man. It's just that simple, man. The rest of you Gentiles, you real Gentiles, you natural Gentiles who are not Israelites. You're going into slavery, man. Isaiah, the 60th chapter. All right. Psalms 22. It says, Salakia. Psalms 22. 
and 22. It says, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. David wrote this, man. A Psalm of David. See? So the 22nd ch chap chapter and the 22nd verse. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him. And fear him. All ye the seed of Israel. See that? It's too much, man. It's too much. And we can stay right here and prove that he only talking to Israelites. But let's prove it. Let's keep going. It says, Nevertheless, brethren, I have written the more unto you, written the more boldly unto you in some sort as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of the Heavenly Father that I should minister of Yahweh HaMashiach to the, to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of the Heavenly Father that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. The only people that can get the Holy Spirit is the Israelites, man. Right? Let's keep going. Uh, I there I have therefore whereof I may glory through Hamashiach in those things which pertain to the Most High. Right? For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Hamashiach had not wrought by me to make the Gentiles obedient, to make the uh, Gentiles obedient by word and deed. Because he can't be a hypocrite. You teach him what, and they come to find it. You teach him what supposedly Hawashai teach, but they come to find out he's not actually, you know what I'm saying? That's how you're going to make him obedient, man. Because you, who are, the Lord says, whoever don't gather it with me, he scatter it, man. You know? He got the, the proper protocol of how to do this thing, man. Through the through mighty sins, Salakia, through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about uh, Illyricum, um, I have fully preached the gospel of Hamashiach. All right? It says uh, something else I was thinking of. I want to go into it. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's keep going. It say, yeah, I have, so have I preached, to, so so have I strived to preach the gospel, not where Hamashiach was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. It say, but as it is written, to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see, and they that have not heard shall understand. For which cause... Also, I have been much hindered from coming to you, but now having no put more place in these parts and having a great desire these many years to come unto you, he has no no more reserves because, you know, it's the gathering of Israel, man. The promises can't can't come to can't come to pass if you know all the Israelites. Uh, uh, aren't involved in it, you know, that wouldn't, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be the promises coming to pass, right, and one of the promises is that Holy Spirit, whosoever I take my, but that's another lesson, I ain't gonna go into that, right, whensoever I take my journey into Spain, I will come to you, for I trust to see you in my journey to be brought on my way thither by you, if, if first I be somewhat filled with your company, but listen, but now I go un unto Jerusalem to minister unto the, unto the saints. You see that? So that's only the people you talking to the entire time are saints, man. And who are the saints? Those that made a covenant with the Lord, man. Psalms 50 and 5, man. Deuteronomy 5 in, in the fifth chapter from the first verse on down, man. It tell you who the saints is and many more scriptures. For it hath pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor saints which are at Jerusalem. Cause that's why he's 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 uh going he's going back and forth, man. So we some were just lucky to not have been put out the land and still be living there, you know. But in all different types of manners. Some were poor, man. So he's writing to the Gentiles who are actually saints, telling them like, well, first of all, before I make this run, I gotta go back to see the other saints. You know, at Jerusalem, they had pleased them, verily, 
and they are in their depth as they are and their depth as they are for if the gentiles have made have been made partakers of their spiritual things right their duty is also to minister unto them in in carnal things you see because these are the ones who actually still know they're Israelites. You know, they're just really blinded too. You know? Because if they weren't, Yahweh Shah wouldn't came, man. Right? I think he's paraphrased. He said something like, if he had not come, man had not sinned or something like that. You know? Everybody was off, man. Whether you knew he was an Israelite or not, man. When therefore I have performed this, let's get to the point. And have sealed to them this fruit. But it already improves. He's talking to the Israelites the entire time. But he's using Gentile. I will come by you. Right? So when therefore I have performed this. when I went into, After I talked to them. And have sealed to them this fruit. See? Like man. This was actually going on man. We were scattered everywhere. The Lord. he He's bringing his promise to pass man. And all the prophecies man. Because why would he have written in Deuteronomy 4th chapter if we turn back with all our heart and all our, our soul? It's going to be through yeah, believing in Yahweh, man. That's how it's done, man. So no matter if you're living in Greece, you're living wherever you're living, man. You receive this word, you believe, you accept it, man. You got the faith of Yahweh, Yahweh, you're going to go and approve it in your works, you know. And I am sure, so I, I will come by you into Spain. And I am sure when I am coming to you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Hamashiach. Listen, now I beseech you, brethren, see that? For the Lord, Yahweh shall Hamashiach's sake and for the love of the spirit that ye strive together with me in your prayers to good, to God for me, man. You see? See? He's talking to Israelites the entire time, man. Now, let's get this. This is 1 Corinthians 1, and we're going to get the 23rd verse. And it reads, But we preach to Mashiach crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. See? But unto them which are called, but unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, because they both Israelites, man. Listen, but unto them which are called. So who are those that are called? It's the Israelites, man. Both Jews and Greeks. See? But unto them that which are called, which are called. Both Jukes, Jews and Greeks. Now, if that was for everybody, like everybody on the earth, why is it only Greeks right there? And don't say that represents... All the nations. No. To be a Jew is a specific thing. To be a Greek is a specific thing. So that wouldn't include everybody. And that's proven in Nehemiah the 13th chapter. Ammonites could never come in. So-called Chinese man could never come in. A Japanese man could never come in. Right? Hamashiach, the power of God. And the wisdom of God. And the reason why they're called Greeks... Which we'll get real quick. We'll go ahead and get real quick. While we here. Lord willing. Because this, this app likes acting crazy sometimes. But I'll read it in here. Right? Let's go to Maccabees. Maccabees. First Maccabees. In the first chapter, I believe. Soon, soon as you start off, like what, four, twelve or fourteenth verse? You see? See? Straight. Soon as you go into it, man. Now let's get it. You see? This is what the Greeks come from, and there came out of the wicked root Antiochus. Maccabees first. This is why this is why so called white man took this out. This is gonna break down the Jews of Greeks right here real quick. And there came out out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been hostage at Rome. He reigned in the hundred and thirty thirty and seventh year 
of the kingdom of the Greeks. Because Greeks were ruling the earth. So everybody were under their influence, man. What's the who who has the most influence on the earth right now? America, right? What's the number one uh currency? What's the number one language? What all those things point back to? And what people? America and the so called white man, man. The Edomites. Who who is actually Esau. Going he's hiding under the alias of the so called white man. In those days, who was these people as well? They were the Greeks as well. After they stole it from the original people, because original people, they stole the land of Greece as well. In those days, but another topic. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many. Many of who? Saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. So other Israelites, man. That's the, that was the, the, the many that were persuaded. Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are around round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So a bunch of coons. So this device uh, pleased them well. The certain of the people were so forward herein, they were so with it, that when they went to the king, right? To one of these Greek kings, man. Right? Antiochus. Epiphanes. Right? Or Antiochus, man. However you want to pronounce it. Antiochus, Epiphanes, and Antiochus. Antiochus Epiphanes. So, right? so they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance, uh, ordinances of the heathen. Because everybody know how the Israelites are and who the Israelites were. They don't do what everybody else do. They have the creator, man. They have the power. You know? But when you have them in subjugation due to them messing up, you have the power. No matter who, what nation you are. That's how the Lord punishes Right, and he's just. He's had given everybody their 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 time, man. And your time is never a part of his covenant, man. You you do natural Gentiles out there that are not Israelites. First Maccabees one and fourteen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem, according to the customs of the heathen. And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant. And joined themselves to the heathen and was sold to do mischief. Now when the kingdom was established before Antiochus. See, that's it, man. He thought to reign over Egypt that he might have the dominion of the two realms. You see? And we're going to stop right there. So this is why you don't know about this when you get to... But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks. See? Because these were Israelites who started living like Greeks. They're the called. They're the chosen. Right? Let's get that word for called, man. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I got I got a couple more scriptures. I, I'm not even going to talk. I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to talk, but I'm going I'm to I'm just read the scriptures, man. You know? This, this, this you know, so this is a look. This is a you know, uh, it's a breakdown. Proving it. It says, it says, uh, by the spirit and power, you have by Shem Yahushua. It says, uh, Kalitos. A uh, Kalitos. Strong's G, 2822. Kalitos. Kalitos. You know, Kalitos, Kalitos, Kalitos. All right, called, invited to a banquet, man. You see? What banquet? Matthew, the 22nd chapter. Read it. It says, invited by Salaki, invited by God and the proclamation proclamation of the gospel to obt to obtain eternal salvation in the kingdom through Hamashiach. See? Divinely selected. Who who selected, man? Invited example, appointed, or or especially a saint. See that? Kletos. So it means a saint, man. The called are the, are the saints. You see that? Those that are appointed. Invited. You ain't invited to this, man. Obtain eternal salvation. Let's just get a few scriptures real quick. So, real quick, we can get... Um, let me see. Man, it's, it's so much, man. We can get Deuteronomy. 
7 and 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You know? See that? Nor, the Lord did not set his, his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were few, you were more in number than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he will keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers. See? This is family business. This has nothing to do with un, 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 unnatural Gentiles, man. Or Slaki. Natural Gentiles. This is bloodline uh, work, man. Right? Have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondman from the hand of the Pharaoh, king of Egypt. You know? So that's that, man. This is only talking to Israel. Now, let's get... What is that? Because it said eternal salvation, right? That might be a... Uh, Might be Mark. I've been forgetting this scripture a lot lately. I don't know what's going on. Slaki. Uh, let's see. It's Luke. Yeah, Luke one. Luke one. Let's jump down, man. Sixty-eight. It says, "Blessed be the Lord God of Israel." For he hath, hath visited and redeemed his people. And he hath raised up an horn of salvation for us. See? In the house of his servant David. Who's in that house? Who's of that stock? Because house goes into stock, sock, stock, seed line. Yahawashah, man. That's how we get the salvation. He's salvation. Yahawashah, man. Right? As he, ha as he spake by the mouth of his... So as, as he said, man, he keep his word. He don't change. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which has been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, right? To the oath which he swore to our father, Abraham, right? See that? See? See that, man? We keep reading this to give knowledge 77 to give knowledge of salvation unto his people who is his people 68 blessed be the lord god of israel for he hath redeemed he hath visited and redeemed his people 77 to give knowledge of salvation of his unto his people by the remission of their sins man see that man so this ain't got nothing to do with nobody else man that's that man could really end it right there. But I'm going to get the rest of these. This uh, Ephesians 3 and 6. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs, right? And of the same body. And partakers of his promise in Hamashiach by the gospel. Now, how could na natural Gentiles that come from a completely different seed, right? Have anything to do with that? When David already uh, pronounced that the brethren... Is only those of the seed of Jacob, of the seed of Israel, man. Same person. So how could a heathen be made, be part of the body, man? When you got this written. Leviticus 19 and 19. It, it reads. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with diverse kind, <laughs> with a diverse kind, thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. See, neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. You see, so how, how could the father? He is 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 he he doesn't deal with cross contamination, man. Lions with lions, lions don't go with tigers, man. You see? You don't put that together and make a liger or a tiger. You don't do that, man. So-called white man does that. That's not what he does. You shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let 
thy cattle. Gender with di with a diverse kind, thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed, man. And what field? The vineyard, man. The vineyard. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and will it come upon thee. See? So, I mean, it's just that simple, man. And then we're going to go ahead and get this. Matthew 5 and 17. And it reads, Think not I am come to destroy the law. See? The law still stands. That still stands. Those statues still stands. Or the prophets. Right? So how we, we, we get this word? Through the prophets. Moses is a prophet. David was a prophet, man. Right? I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. See? For verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass. Ain't the sky still up there? Because what does heaven mean? For wise guys out there, you go into that word heaven, it's aranos, man, in the Greek. Aranos. Strong's G, 3772, Uranos. Uranos. Uranos, Aranos, the vaulted expanse of the sky with all things visible in it. See? So you can still see the sky, the clouds, right? See that? So, verily, so Yahweh shot this red letters, who people call Jesus. He said, For verily I say unto you, till heaven, till the sky pass, till the sky and earth, the ground we walk on, man, the land we walk on, the dirt, the mud, the grass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. So, the smallest point, man, till all be fulfilled, man. And all ain't been fulfilled, which is why the earth, the earth, the sky hasn't cracked, cracked yet, man. You know? And even then, everything won't be fulfilled. Because it's something that got to be done once that sky's cracked, man. Right? But we ain't going to talk about that. See, little lines or projections. See? Not even the minute part, minute, minutest part of the law shall perish. See? See that? So that still stands, man. You can't, the Lord don't deal with mingled seeds being put together. You ain't putting no tomato seed with a grape seed to make a, 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 a gromado or something like that. That that's that's bugged out, man. You know? And it's the last one, man. You know, spirit, the spirit, you know, is 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 gone. It's is 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 it's like the wind, man. It's on to the next thing, you know, Lord willing. My, Michael three and six, therefore night shall be unto you, and ye shall Oh, Salakia. Um it's not Micah. It's uh Malachi. Oh, uh, man, yeah. So this doesn't have anything to do with anybody, man, else besides who are not, you know, Israelites, man. So you Israelites, you have hope. So seek the Lord while he may be found. Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Here you people are talking about, we're, we're all, you know, he, he wants everybody, but you won't talk about, where you won't tell, you won't say we're the Israelites and you're the Gentiles. You'll just say he he well, he's for everybody. You don't even want us to know we're Israelites, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Acts eleven and one, it say, and the apostles and the brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. Why? Because Isaiah. Nine. Let me show you how the New Testament go with the Old Testament. Nine and eight. It says, The Lord sent a word into Jacob, and it had lighted upon Israel. Remember, Isaiah is a prophet, so he foresees things. So he's seen Yahweh because that same word that was sent into, into Jacob and lighted upon Israel 
It's the same word right here, which it talks about. John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. It was supposed to say, was a God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything that was made, anything made that was made. Now, in him was light. It's like, in him was life, and life, and the, and the life was the light of man. Right? So his whole life, we can look at and, and, and receive light. You know, in ours, right? Learn from his his walk, man, and what he stood for, you know, and what he said. But it's only for the Israelites, man. So called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, because he's your bloodline relative, man. See? Now, let me jump down to 14. He came unto his own, let me get 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. See? Now, 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we and we beheld his glory. The glory as the only begotten of the Son, full of grace and truth. See? Now, when you go back to Acts 11, this is my last one. It say, and apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. Because they were uh, Israel, man. Where he was sent. And he actually tell, t told you out of his own mouth, that's where he was sent. He said, "I was I'm not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house, but to the lost uh sheep of the house of the house of Israel, man. You know. But I'm getting I'm getting this. You can read that in Ma Matthew the 15th chapter, start the 21st verse on down to the 24th. And you can also read that Matthew 10 and 5. You can also read that, and uh, I believe that's Matthew." Uh, 11 and 8, or 8, 18 and 11. He's not, I'm not sent, but to that which lost. That which was lost. Lord will not remember it, and I'll quote it correctly. Exactly. But yeah, you can find, he said this a million times. Read in Galatians 4. You know, he wasn't sent to, to nobody else but the Israelites, man. Those that were under the law. Uh, Acts 11. Salakia. Now you see that, right? Now let's go back to this uh this Acts eleven. We're gonna end right here. So it say, and the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. Now let's go to the previous chapter and the thirty sixth verse and see what that says. The word which God sent. Into, unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. He is Lord of all, man. See that, man. See. So this is not talking. Oh man, him verse forty. Him, him. God raised up the third day and shewed him openly. Not to all people, but unto witnesses chosen before of chosen before of God, even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose. It's a chosen before. Now if you want to be technical and be like, okay, I don't mean that, but it's a but unto witnesses chosen before. Who are the witnesses, man? Let's get the witnesses part. Isaiah, this is the last scripture, Lord willing. Isaiah forty three and one. It says, but now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by that name. Thou art mine. Let's jump down to the 10th verse. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant, whom I have chosen, that ye know, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Now does he now does he does he save? You know? Verse twelve, I have declared and have saved. And I have eleven. I, even I am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. So he sent his son. You know, represent to represent him. I have declared and have and he grew up around Israel. 
He didn't just come out the sky. He actually had a life talked about in the scriptures as a child growing up in, 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 in Galilee, you know, in Nazareth, right? A little small, you know, ghetto town, if you will. I have declared and have saved and have shewed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Because the thing that has been is that which shall be, man. He ain't going to change up. He going to keep. The witnesses, man. But among the witnesses, there, 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 there are there's a chosen among the chosen. So, the chosen is the Israelites. The witnesses are the Israelites. Though the word was sent unto the Israelites, the saints are the Israelites. The 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 church is the Israelites. The con conversion means revert re, re uh goes con uh salakia. The conversion goes into reversion, which means just a quick cap. Quick recap. Which means what? Which means what? Re a return to a previous state, practice, or belief. See that? A return to a previous state, practice, or belief. So we turn to the Lord after being scattered. That's what the Gentiles are talking about. And it, it, it's, just, it's, just, it's just that simple, man. You know? So with that, Lord willing, it's been edifying. I'm going to give all honor, praise, and glory to you. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. To you brothers teaching this truth and sincerity. To you, I say shalom, peace, peace and blessings. Right? And to the rest of you, awakening of Israel. Shalom.